I don't know if you're in the mood to celebrate with me. No, it's not a birthday. But it's an anniversary of sorts. Yes, a very important milestone to and a very important anniversary. Because today, September 16, marks 47 years in the broadcast media and journalism profession for one Faye Audrey Ellington. Hi, I'm Faye Ellington. And on the 16th of September 1974, I started my journey in media and journalism in Jamaica, the Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation. I have in my possession still the letter, right, that was dated September 12th, 1974, signed by the Deputy General Manager, the late Hector Bernard, in them the days, you know, they are telling the people who were in broadcasting in Jamaica were people who were iconic. You had Hector Bernard at the time, Consul Walters, the late Consul Walters, was a uh, head of news and sports and Dwight Wiley was actually the general manager. Anyway, back to this letter because I want to share it with you or portions of it. It says date, the date of your appointment will be with effect from the 16th of September 1974. Thought you might find that interesting. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It tells me what my duties were, etc. In general, your duties will be that of a trainee announcer and such other duties and responsibilities at such times and places as may be defined from time to time by the duly authorized officer of the corporation or his deputy. Notice the language, his deputy. Anyway, here the remuneration. I think you'll find this quite interesting. Remuneration, you'll be paid a salary monthly at the rate of $2,700 per Annum, not month, per annum. You get that? Per annum, a salary of $2,700 per annum. So you can work out, divide that by 12 and you'll find out what that is. I found also one of my IDs. Okay, let me angle it right. Look for me though. But this journey has been simply fascinating over the 47 years. You're perhaps looking at this and wondering, what is that? Well, yeah, I do have a trademark and I have been using it for a number of years. So I, 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 you know, I train and I guide and I coach um, my trademark, right? that I use when I am um, I wear this because it speaks to everything that I do strictly speaking so I, I train people um, in how to you know present themselves better with the English language if they have to use English language because you know we have two codes in Jamaica two languages in Jamaica the Jamaican language which some people call patwa and and other people call Creole and other people call dialect but it is really is a language anyway and you have the English language and sometimes there are challenges between the two and seeing that the English language is a language of instruction and that we use to teach people in our school and people use it in business places. Sometimes there are some challenges. So in for with Jamaican language, we don't have the H, you know, so we don't say have. In a Jamaica, we say have. All right, you're lucky for that too. Uh, we have it, you know. But in the English, we have to say have. And sometimes people find a difficulty with getting both. Anyway, so over the years, I have worked in journalism, worked in radio and television, even um, had a time when I wrote articles every two weeks for the Herald newspaper, my, my opinion columns. But I also uh, had the opportunity to teach in the journalism program at the Caribbean School of Media and Communication right after I completed my studies there in 1985. And um, did that up on part-time, adjunct for about 21 years and then full-time for uh, 12 years after that, making it a total of 33 years. And over that time, I have done so many other things. My theater career, yes, I was involved in theater because this year, uh, 2021, I'm celebrating 50 years in theater, in commercial theater. One of the foundation um, students at the School of Drama, right? Oliver Samuels is also celebrating 50 years. My dear friend Ruth O'Shing is celebrating 50 years. And so I had a the two careers running parallel. So I was doing media, radio and television and doing theatre for many years. It was very demanding, but I was much younger and I've always been a person to go to the gym. Yes, stay fit. Even this morning I did my 5k walk. Walk, And you, you can decide where you want to do it. I used to be an outdoor walker or a hill walker, but um, 
with all of this that's going on with COVID-19 and other matters, I kind of do it at home and I don't have a big yard. So I just walk around and around the house, I run around the yard rather, which is outside of the house. And then I, I switch directions and before you know it, I'm listen to something, some news, BBC or whatever station or music you want to listen to. And before you know it, you have done your 5K. What has kept me going? Well, I, as I have told my students, it is the business of excellence, not perfection, because nobody is perfect. So for these 47 years, I have always worked towards excellence. And I'm my greatest critic. Mm -hmm. um, I am very hard on myself, but not harsh to the point where I destroy myself, but to the point where I keep lifting my personal bar of excellence. And I tell students that all the time, or people with whom I come in contact. It's very important because once you think you have arrived in this business, it is the beginning of your demise. You grow every day. You learn something new every day. Well, that is my experience in life generally and definitely in the business of broadcast media or journalism or theater. Uh, I had the privilege of getting involved in a film recently, Black Jack Christmas. And this is uh, written and produced and directed by um, a wonderful lady who was uh, connected with Jamaica in a very special way, uh, Victoria Royal, R-O-W-E-L-L. -L. And so Oliver Savills and myself got the opportunity to be husband and wife in that film, Black Jack Christmas. Remember the name? Because um, when it is coming out, then you will know I'm not certain when, and you'll want to know. I'm not, we are not the only Jamaicans in that film as well. There are others. But... The journey has been amazing. It was nothing that I had anticipated. It was much more. So we have to, the other lesson I've learned, just be open to what might come your way. Embrace willingly and be willing to learn from the experienced people around you. So many people help to shape me and guide me and coach me and allow me to be who I am today, both in theater and of course in broadcast media. And some of them overlapped because many of them work also in theatre as well as in journalism and or media. So uh, celebrating 40 years today, September 16, 2021, in a year when there's COVID-19, COVID I'm telling you. You know, speaking of COVID-19, so many people thought it would have lasted for six weeks or six months. I was one of them who said, look here, this thing is going to go on till about 2022 or beyond. And we're heading there. And how did I come about that? You have to keep yourself informed. Uh, and so early in the day, I was listening to a number of things and focusing on them internationally and all of that. And, you know, you, you heard what the forecasting was looking like and you just ensured that you, uh, you just plotted the thing for yourself and recognized that this was not anything that was going to go away overnight. This is serious business, you know. And so here we are. Uh, I'm so grateful for so many things. You know, things have changed drastically for many of us, including myself. But I'm still very, very grateful. I'm very thankful. And I want to thank all the people who helped me to get to where I am. People who watched the plays that I performed in and gave me excellent feedback and loved them. And those who even gave feedback that um, made you stop and think. Because that's important. I, I often say that friends, for example, and people who coach you, they're not just there to pat you on the back. Sometimes they have to give you a big slap on the back to jerk you into realization. There were times when I never knew what my, my um, talent was and could be. But there was somebody to push me along and guide me. So here I am celebrating, and I know some of you like to hear when I, I sing, you see? But I'm um, not singing a folk song for you today, no. <laughs> no, I just wanted to share that. It's been a while, and I'm not even going to tell you that one of the last two or three posts, um, YouTube uh, recordings I made, I spoke about the challenges that Jamaica would have been facing with COVID-19. Well, I didn't want to have to post this, see there? It has come to that, but it did come to that. But right now, we're not talking about that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And um, yes, strictly speaking, you can reach out to me if you have a, um, an interest in being trained or coached. But there'll be more on that, more on that or none. September 16, 2021, 47 years in broadcast media and journalism. Faye Ellington, what good?